Hello, gents. It's Grudge here. And today, Ray and I are reviewing a beer that's been requested. Go shit! Ship, ship. Uh, and I might have said a few rude things about it in the past. Like... Like just then? Yeah, like just then, yeah. But I'm sure this can be a perfectly balanced review. Totally no bias at all. And, you know, really what we expect from a beer, as you may all know, is to be an English bitter. Traditional brown beer. And they're... English bitter, not American bitter, as we'll discover. Oh, later. yes. Very, very important. Not American. No, Citra Hops. Citra Hops from America. This beer says it contains Citra Hops. Those are not English. Those are from America. This is not an English beer. Anyway, we need to be very balanced in this. But I was saying... We need to be balanced on, like, this beer taste. Yes, I'd agree with that, right? But, you know, three important characteristics. We need to have at least one characteristic to be a good English bitter. A pub ale, as you like to call it. Firstly, needs to be creamy with the added nitro flow. <coughs> and then it needs to be fruity. And then it also needs to have toffee. So either one of those three things. You know, a nice nitro flow would be very good. You know, widget. You know, if you're if you're a fifty year old man, well, more like sixty year old man like us, you understand that a widget is the most awesome, cool thing out there. Anyway, back to ghost ship. What we need with a bitter, we need it to look brown, and we need it to taste brown as well. Quite right, Ray. If you look at any good bitter, okay, Master Bro. Abbey Isle. Abbey Isle. Um, what else are there, Ray? London Pride. Uh, London Pride. Feaston Sweets. Oh, nice. yes. Feaston's Best Bitter. And uh, what's the other one, Ray? Bombardier. And I do like Timothy Taylor's bulk maker, Timothy Taylor's landlord. Yeah. You're, you're not a fan. I know I'm not a fan. Southerner. Not too much of a fan of Timothy Taylor. I know he likes some northern beers like Feaston's Best Bitter. Anyway, we'll be better if they added a widget, anyway. Uh, right, shall we open up, Ray? Well, before we do, let's just read what it says in the packaging. Sparred by the towns of old smuggling ships. Uh, pardon him. Ships along the Suffolk coast. This hauntedly good pale ale is full of citrus and biscuit aromas with a spookily hoppy bark. Say. 4.5% alcohol, 2.3 UK units, 500 milliliters. Bold citrus flavours from citrus hops. But this sounds worrying, to be honest. Anyway, let's open it up. Too much time talking. Right. Let's have a smell, lads. I'm a bit concerned about the smell. It doesn't smell brown, as Ray said. That's, that smells like a fruit juice. It smells like a cocktail. It doesn't smell like a beer. You know, if I was living in Hawaii and I was sitting down after surfing, you know, this might be quite suitable. But after... Surfing? Do you mean spearfishing? No, spearfishing is what I do in Hastings. You know, I go to the pub afterwards. Normally Shepherd Noon down near South South Master Bro. Anyway, let's pour it out. No, it doesn't... Half and half, lads. Let's roll. Much in mind, I think. You have to do a bit more, just some of yours. Yeah, I like a like a good old bit of spear fishing if you know me. If you know spear fishing. There you go, I do on it. So. To be honest, the colour's not too bad. Looks reasonably brown. You know, if you showed that to me and said that beer is going to taste nice and toffee like, I'd agree. But then when it smell it, it just smells like, it smells like grapefruits and oranges. It smells like, it smells like a lemon juice or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like beer, it smells like a fruit juice. It doesn't it's smell, like fruit juice. quite right, it doesn't smell like it's from Kent. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Thanks. <laughs> Fruit juice. It's not beer. You know, sampling that taste, it, there's there's some beer tastes trying to come out. There's there, You can taste the hops. 
you can taste the barley, the English ones. Yeah. But they're overwhelmed by this American citra hop ruining the beer. Totally agree, Ray. Citrus, citra, cascade. Only American hops need to be taken out of England, replaced with Kenish hops. And to be honest, you know, you know, we could review this. And to be honest, I'd say it's 50 out of 100 because I think it's shit, but everyone else thinks it's good. So therefore, be get a 50 out of 100. But for me, this is not English. And this is the kind of stuff which is going to destroy English bitter, traditional English bitter. You know, because we need to protect the cream flows. We need to protect the Abbott Ale. And we need to protect the Master Bro. And, <clears throat> and we're not going to do that. By drinking this, this. this beer is a proper beer that has been ruined by this hipster trend of using, putting citrus into every single beer. Exactly. If you speak to Marners in County Durham or a stockbroker in the city of London, they're not going to like this because they're going to be drinking proper beer. Beer for men that looks brown and This is for brown. beer for people who like to go to a factory that my grandfather worked in and got shut down and that's been turned into a beer restaurant that sells a pint for seven pounds a pint. This, a proper pint, which costs one pound, maybe 45p, that kind of thing. It should be brown, it should taste brown, sticky tables, and no one with a beard inside, just moustache. 100% agree, right? And this has got a very sharp taste, very sharp. It's from the fruits. It's like, it's like a sour lemonade, isn't it? It's really just not acceptable for, for us to drink. And this is when me, Ray, and anyone English who likes bitter is going to declare war on Citra hops. Do what you can. Boycott Adam's Go Ship. Don't buy it. Buy English. Buy the Master Bros. Buy the Cream Flows, the Nitro Flow. Buy the Ebb Ales. Buy the Ebb Reserve, the IPA Reserve. Buy the Bishop Singer. Buy the Feakstons and the Fwets. Yes, We need to buy save those. English beer. You know, just buy anything. You can even buy John Smith's Extra Smoke. Do whatever you can to save England. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Like and subscribe. Bye!